Inclusion delusion. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Six days after Donald Trump won the presidency, many on the left are still angry and depressed. Thousands are protesting in the streets, believing they will soon be victims of oppression or something not good. Most of the demonstrators are peaceful, some are not. Today in Los Angeles, hundreds of school kids walked out of class showing their disdain for the election. Be interesting to hear what is bothering these students. I suspect many of them have been inspired by immigration activists who have been working the West Coast very hard. Apart from wanting open immigration, one of the main beefs on the left is that the philosophy of inclusion is endangered by Trump. It's irrational for people to say they voted for Trump for change, uh, when in reality, the very policies that President Obama put in place actually helped whites and blacks and Latinos. And, and what I believe is that when you have fear rooted in racism, it's irrational. America, at its best, is inclusive and not exclusive, that we insist on the dignity and God-given potential and worth of every child. I've heard everything from kids afraid to go to school because they're not sure their parents will be home when they get there. I've heard some families talk about not going to work. I've heard some people afraid to walk the streets because they may look like they're Muslim. Apparently, the anti-Trump people believe that eight years of the Obama administration have brought about an American unification, that we are basically harmonious in this country. And now, all that harmony has been dissolved because Trump was elected. Is it me, or is that point of view about as strange as Kanye West wanting to run for the White House? Fact is, more than 60 million Americans do not feel that President Obama included them in his grand left-wing vision. Thus, they voted against continuing his legacy by giving power to Mr. Trump. Stated clearly, there is not a man on this earth more opposite Barack Obama than Donald Trump. 60 million folks, a huge crew. And again, many of them feel excluded, not included by the president's policies. Now let's get specific. It is not inclusive to spit in the eye of religious Americans by forcing Catholic nuns to fund birth control and promoting abortion without limits. I think all sane people would agree that's not inclusive to Americans who hold sincere beliefs on life. Same thing with forcing Americans to pay more for health insurance so the poor can have free or subsidized health care with no strings attached. That's good for the have-nots. Millions of working Americans are not included in the benefits of Obamacare, they're hurt by higher premiums and lack of medical choices. It is not inclusive to ignore the hard drug epidemic in America that's shattering families and killing thousands while diverting the attention of the Justice Department into controversies like who can use which bathroom. Then there's illegal immigration. I hope the kids in L.A. will listen up. It is not inclusive to fail to monitor the workplace so that foreign nationals who have no right to be here can waltz on in and secure jobs. That excludes American citizens from fair marketplace competition because many illegal immigrants work cheaper, thus driving down salaries. The fantasy of open borders is not inclusive when most Americans strongly reject that concept. On the safety front, it is not inclusive to fail to protect the poor in Chicago from the murderous gang violence there that's been going on for years, while the city fathers do absolutely nothing to contain it. My family is protected from gang violence, but that is not the case for millions of inner city residents all over the country. Therefore, many urban folks, mostly poor, are not included in effective public safety policies. Likewise, failing to protect all Americans from illegal alien felons who defy deportation is not inclusive. There should be zero tolerance for these people. Instead, cities like San Francisco harbor them, excluding all 
law-abiding Americans from the protection they deserve and pay for through tax levies. Children in bad schools are not included in quality education, are they? The left fights desperately against charter schools and vouchers for the poor, which would give low-income families school choice. Memo to the progressive community, opposing school competition is not inclusive at all. Hating your neighbor because he or she holds different life views is not inclusive. Despising white or black or Asian or Hispanic votes is not inclusive. Disparaging gays is not inclusive. But forcing business people to support gay nuptials when their religious beliefs are challenged is not inclusive either. We have a long history of conscientious objection in this country, do we not? It is not inclusive for government to target the assets of successful Americans while demonizing them like Bernie Sanders does. Fair share contains the word fair. Achievers in America, if they are honest, deserve applause, not derision based on jealousy and entitlement. It is not inclusive to punish those Americans with assets by seizing their property after death and imposing a hyper taxation on them. Reasonable taxation is necessary. Gouging is oppressive and not inclusive. Finally, the national media in this country generally excludes traditional Americans from fair play. They mock and demean conservative folks, sometimes even branding them racist, sexist, haters of one group or another. This awful trend is championed on the net, which pretty much excludes anyone who is not liberal from inclusion in the good person club. Nothing the government can do about that other than criticize dishonest and hateful reporting. But apart from Fox News, President Obama offered little criticism of the media that generally adores him. So you are living in a fantasy world. I think the liberal administration of the past eight years has encouraged inclusion. It has not. And the millions of Americans who were excluded by the Obama administration have now put an end to the inclusion